Welcome back to Shelf Space, the show where I talk about the difficult decisions I face when curating my board game collection. Follow me over to the shelf where I talk about the games that I'm bringing into my collection today and find out which games I'm going to have to say goodbye to. Along the way, maybe you'll get a few ideas for your own collection. Let's go take a look. Welcome to my shelves in my first episode of Shelf Space. Now, because this is the first episode, I wanted to do something a little bit special today. I am not going to be adding just one game onto my shelves. I had to do something all out today. I'm going to be adding three games to my shelf. Now, there's a reason for this. It's because all three games are linked with a very similar theme, and that is the West Kingdom series. The first game in that series is Architects of the West Kingdom. Now, I will be honest to say that when Architects first came out, I wasn't the biggest fan of it. I like the worker placement element of placing your workers out and letting them be captured by other players. And I like the idea of capturing other players' workers, but something with the way the points were scored and it kind of felt like it was a race to a few different things, it just didn't sit well with me. And I wasn't sure that I was going to end up liking all of the rest of the West Kingdom games. This did happen to me with Raiders of the North Sea, but it was the opposite. I really, really liked Raiders of the North Sea, but I thought the follow-up games fell a little bit flat for me, which is why I don't actually have Raiders of the North Sea in my collection, because if I'm going to get one game, I'm going to get them all. But the Age of Artisans expansion came out for Architects and really, number one, really improved my enjoyment of the game and made it a game that I considered adding to my collection but also the second game in the series, Paladins of the West Kingdom came out. This quickly became one of my favorite worker placement games of all time. It's currently in my top list for sure. This solidified West Kingdom for me. When Paladins came out and I played Paladins for the first time, it really, really blew me away. And I have since also played the expansion City of Crowns, which is coming out and it's just, it's very, very good. So by this point, I knew that I was going to want to collect all of these games because, hey, Architects was good, Paladins was good, but the third game, Viscounts, that came out is also great. I actually love all three games in this series. When this series first started, like I said, I just wasn't sure how I would feel about the overall West Kingdom trilogy. I'm pleasantly surprised each one of these games uses some similar icons, some similar themes, and some similar mechanics to bring a completely different type of game. In Architects, you have a worker placement game where you're competing over a shared amount of worker spaces where you can continuously place workers over time in order to take stronger versions of those actions. You're going to be working on building a cathedral. You're going to be working on building buildings into your own tableau while still recruiting villagers, which is something that is going to be in common with all of these three games. Paladins changed that formula by giving everyone a individual player board on which you would place workers. Now, there are a few shared worker spots that are going to be different every game, and they're actually revealed as you go through the rounds. But this changed up gameplay in a huge way. I mean, it was a very, very different experience from Architects. And it gives you this deck of Paladin cards where you're going to control the amount and color of workers that you get every round by drafting the correct Paladin and selecting the correct worker card from the row of Tavern cards that are available. Couple this with your Paladin special ability, and it really gives you a focus and direction for how you're going to spend your turn. I really like this about Paladins. I think it's a very unique thing, and passing up on some of those Paladins early can really hurt, but you really need to focus on your strategy and choose the correct Paladins for that. And then Viscounts came out, and Viscounts is a completely different game. In fact, it's not a worker placement game really at all. It actually uses those villagers in a very different way and turns it into a deck building game where you're actually shuffling those villagers you recruit into a deck, playing them onto an action board, and using those to move your Viscount around the board, which is basically a rondelle, and you're going to be taking different actions along the way. So all three of these games offer completely different and unique experiences. I enjoy all three and I can see myself playing all three over and over again. So I'm definitely going to add these to my shelf today. Now, I know that Paladins is going to get a big box that's going to hold all of the content, including its expansions, and I think Architects maybe as well. So there could be some big boxes in store for all of these games. But for now, I think they're all going to fit on one 
shelf. But let's talk about what I'm taking away. Now, if you couldn't already tell, this game is Massive Darkness from SEMA. Now, this is a big game. This game by itself took up my entire Calyx, as you saw, with all of the different expansions. Because when this game came out to Kickstarter, I backed it for everything. I got all the different individual armies, and I have played through almost all of Massive Darkness, which is rare. I don't always play through all of these big box games. But Massive Darkness 2 is coming out, and to be honest, I haven't even touched Massive Darkness since I finished the campaign. Now, I do really, really love this game. I think it's one of the best dungeon crawlers out there, and it does a lot of unique things with the way your characters level up and progress, and the rules are very streamlined, simple to play, easy to set up, and it's just a lot of fun. It relies a lot on teamwork and gives you a lot of great heroic moments. However, I really don't think I'm going to play this again. With Massive Darkness 2 coming out right around the corner, I'm pretty sure that it's going to replace this game for me anyway. So I think that Massive Darkness needs to move on to a new home with somebody that's going to get to experience that campaign for the first time. So I am saying goodbye today to Massive Darkness and hello to the West Kingdom series. Thank you so much for joining me here today on this first episode of Shelf Space. Hopefully the games that I brought in and the decisions that I made are going to help you when it comes time to make your own decisions. But please tune in next time as we bring another game into my collection and we'll say goodbye to something else as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Hey everyone, if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider dinging the old bell below. That is going to help notify you of new videos that are uploaded to our channel. And as always, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and please consider watching all of our videos, one of which you can see right here to my left.